Hello, dear 7th graders, and welcome to your English lesson online. My name is Ljerka Vukic, and I will be your teacher today. Today's lesson is DIY. For this lesson, you need your notebook, a pencil or a pen, and a device with internet connection. In case you want to pause the video, just press this button. And if you want to hear or see something, once again, just go backwards. All the links needed in this lesson are also below this video in the video description. In this lesson, you are going to show understanding of a dialogue about DIY, and you will also create an advertising poster and use reflexive pronouns while doing so. So, DIY. What is it? I'm sure you have seen this word somewhere on the internet or on YouTube. DIY, or do-it-yourself, is the activity of decorating or repairing your home or making things for your home yourself, rather than paying someone else to do it for you. Have you ever done any DIY? Maybe you can't remember at the moment. Let me help you. If you live in a house, gardening is a DIY activity. Have you ever done that? Or, if you live in a flat, maybe you have a plant on the balcony. Have you ever made a piece of furniture for your home? or helped fixing things in your house or flat. I'm sure some of you have already done some cooking, decorating boxes, or Christmas decorations. Some of you have maybe even made a piece of jewelry for themselves. I would like you to meet Rami now. Rami is from Israel, he lives in Jerusalem, and he is a DIY champion. Before you listen to the interview with Rami, I would like you to copy these sentences in your notebook, because while listening, you are going to decide if these five sentences are true or false. So please open your notebooks now, pause this video, and copy the sentences. Here are a few useful words that can help you understand the interview better. Please read them. So, PR, public relations, marketing or propaganda, to sodnosti s javnošću, refurbish, renovate or redecorate, preurediti, reuse, use again, ponovno koristiti, spread, pass on, disseminate, develop or grow, širiti. Hi Rami, you look really busy. Do you have a minute? We talked over the phone yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, I remember. You are from the YouTube DIY channel. Yes, exactly. I'm working on this armchair. It's quite heavy. I see. Let me help you with it. Thank you. Let's put it down here. Well done. What would you like to know? I'm not such an interesting person. You are a celebrity when it comes to the DIY world. The only celebrity that doesn't use PR. I work a lot and enjoy it. That's my PR. Rami, what is it that you actually do and how did it all start? I've always been interested in fixing things, refurbishing and things like that. As a child, I was watching what was going on at my home and my friends' homes too. My father was great at doing things around our house, so many people from our neighbourhood were bringing stuff to our home. My dad had golden fingers, and he could see if something that people had thrown away might be reused somehow. So, from an early age, I made many things myself instead of buying them. When I got married, I was working at the airport, but in my free time, I was always doing something, working on a project of my own, it was my hobby and passion, I'd say. So, 
Eventually I stayed home, and now DIY has become my proper job. Were you motivated by money? Certainly not. Actually, I was quite confused when people started offering money for a refurbished old armchair, but I somehow managed to turn my hobby into a living. I was motivated by the huge piles of garbage I see. I mean, our society just throws things away and buys and buys. That's not going to end well. Do you think people could do more things themselves instead of just throwing away and buying new things? I certainly do. Not all people are great talents, but I'm sure you don't need to buy new Christmas bulbs every year. Isn't it more fun to decorate your tree and home in your own way? Or use furniture and refurbish it? It's not nuclear physics. Would you say that do-it-yourself is a lifestyle? It certainly is for me and my family. My wife also does many things herself. She's into decorations, cooking and things like that. She doesn't like plastic. Have you ever thought of sharing your ideas by social media? No, not really. That's not my cup of tea. But my sons keep telling me about it. Maybe you could talk to them. Thank you, Rami. We think your amazing ideas need spreading. And if we can cooperate with your family, our YouTube channel will become more interesting. OK, just don't make videos with me. I don't like the camera. OK, we'll find the right way. Thank you for your time, Rami. No problem. Goodbye. And now let's check. Rami started doing many things by himself at an early age. That's true. Rami thinks a lot of people could do many things by themselves. That's also true. Rami's wife doesn't do anything by herself. That's false. Rami has a do-it-yourself blog. That's false. And Rami believes we could do more things ourselves. That's true. These words that were in red are called reflexive pronouns. Here, on the left-hand side, you can see personal pronouns. I'm sure you have already heard about personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. On the right-hand side, you can see reflexive pronouns. I would like you now to match the personal pronoun with its corresponding reflexive one. So, I and myself. You, be careful, this is you in singular, yourself. He, that's an easy one, himself, she, herself, it, this one is also easy, itself, we, ourselves, you in plural, yourselves, and they, themselves. Well done. So here is a complete list of personal pronouns and their corresponding reflexive pronouns. As you can see, the first five reflexive pronouns are written in red and the last three reflexive pronouns are written in blue, at least their endings. You can see self in red and selves in blue. What's the difference? What do you think? Of course, the first five are in singular and the last three are in plural. So, the singular ending in reflexive pronouns is S-E-L-F and the plural ending is S-E-L-V-E-S. -E Be very careful about pronoun you because it can be singular as well as plural pronoun. So now open your notebooks, copy this slide, please. You can pause the video now. And now let's practice. One family is having a picnic. 
You can see their dialogue here, but reflexive pronouns are missing. So please open your notebooks, copy this dialogue, and fill it in with the appropriate reflexive pronoun. Pause the video now. And the second part of the dialogue, copy it and fill in the blanks. Welcome back and let's check. Be careful, Mary. Don't hurt yourself. Don't worry, Mom. I'm taking good care of myself. But Simon could burn himself. He's playing with matches. Guys, come over here and help yourselves to the cookies. Mom. Look at the cat. It's washing itself, Simon. Do you need a hand with that bike, boys? No, we can do it ourselves. Oh, no. What's the matter? Emily has cut herself. Calm down, please. Everything will be okay. The kids are trying to show us they can do something themselves. Well done. And now it's time to play. If you have a QR code reader, you can scan this code, and if not, write this address in your browser, bit.ly slash reflexive123, and here is a game for you. Enjoy! And now let's see. What does it mean? Help yourself, tech tips weekly, and hot coffee, help yourself. Tech Tips Weekly Tjedni tehnološki savjeti Help yourself Pomozi se sa savjetima And hot coffee Help yourself Posluži se toplom kavom So, it doesn't always mean the same And here are a few idioms in English language Let's check their meaning Enjoy yourself Have a good time Behave yourself Be good I like being by myself. I like being alone. Help yourself. You're welcome to take something to eat. Make yourself at home or feel comfortable. Make yourself heard. Speak loudly to be heard. All of these idioms have one reflexive pronoun within. So now please choose three of these idioms that you like best and copy them in your notebook. Pause the video. And here is one poster that I have found on the internet. It's an advertising poster for the automatic loan. Let's check it out. Automatic loan. A wonderful invention. You don't need to do anything. Just lay down and let it look after itself. It will water itself, weed itself and cut itself regularly. 25% off in our web shop www.automatic.com What do you think about it? Would you buy this invention? Okay, well done. And finally, you. Your turn. You will also make an advertisement for one product. You will choose a product you want to advertise, and then you're going to create or write the text for your ad. Here are the words that can help you. Wash, cook, talk to, fill, open, cut, sweep, teach, go, close, clean, take care of, write, come back, prepare, Look after, empty, or pay. You can use these words to write the sentences in your ad. Remember the previous ad. It can water itself, cut itself, weed itself. You don't have to do anything. So your product is also going to be an automatic one. And you will use reflexive pronouns to create your sentences. For example, it can open itself, it can teach itself, it can empty itself, it can clean itself, something like that. 
And after you have it all, then you're going to design your ad. You can design it on a regular pencil and paper poster, but you can also use canva.com. If you don't know how to use canva.com, there is a video to help you below this video in the video description. And now let's check if you have done it all. I have chosen my product, yes or no. I have written a text using reflexive pronouns, yes or no. And I have created my poster, yes or no. If you have done it all, you can send it to your teacher. We are now almost at the end of this lesson. So I hope that now you can show understanding of what DIY is. You can also show understanding of the interview you have listened to. You can identify reflexive pronouns and use them correctly. And you can design your advertisement poster. If there is something you can't do, then please watch this video once again. And now at the end of our lesson, let me give you two ideas of things you can make by yourselves at home during the pandemic. You can make your own learning station, or if you don't like your face mask, you can make your own. Goodbye.